Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking a bit about the five piece French wardrobe challenge and if you are an old subscriber to my channel then you've probably already seen my original video but I thought I'd do another one just as that one was hugely long and I really just wanted to get straight to the point. The basic premise of the five piece French wardrobe challenge is that you purchase five key pieces over a season. Now typically the season is supposed to be for six months so it would be autumn, winter or spring, summer or else you could do it every three months if that's easier for you and when I say key pieces these are going to be really stand up pieces to your wardrobe. Now this doesn't mean that you can only buy five pieces, basics don't count, accessories don't count unless they're over $200 in my case but possibly you want to have a lower value, it depends on how much you spend on things but shoes and bags do count. So someone like me who loves shoes you can imagine this is a difficult challenge because if I could, I would buy all of the shoes. The idea is that this is going to be something that you really want to invest in. You're going to be wearing it for more than one season. It's going to be good quality. It's going to be something that you've put a lot of thought into rather than just purchasing on a whim just because it was cheap. And it's also going to be something that complements your style. The idea is that you'll end up with a really clean, streamlined wardrobe that is very chic and you feel good and look good in all of these new items that you've added to your wardrobe. Just one thing to note, basics do count if they cost more than you would normally spend. Just say you normally spend about $50 on a t-shirt, if you decide to spend more than that, then you're going to have to include it as one of your five items for that season. So just say you bought a $40 t-shirt, then that's a basic and would not be included as part of your five. Last time I did this, I actually had a plan of what I wanted to purchase and I didn't really stick to it. So this time around, I'm not planning on making an itemized list of what I'm going to get because I've realized that it doesn't really work for me. While I do think a lot about my purchases, they're not necessarily always the ones that I am intending on buying. I think it's probably pretty fair to say that I'll end up with one or two pairs of statement shoes, a nice new pair of jeans as I've been in the market for some, for some time, maybe some new cashmere as we are coming up into winter, or maybe a new coat. I mean, I, I'm not really too sure at this stage, but for me, it's all about really trying to streamline my purchases, make sure that I'm not going overboard, and also, in a way, it kind of helps me with saving because I do have quite a few big things coming up this year. We are going to Italy for Luke's brother's wedding, and then we've got our own wedding in October. With any challenge, I don't think you have to stick to the rules. I think if you want, you can change them to suit your needs and your lifestyle. It can be a bit of a shock going from shopping all the time to only purchasing very few things. But the important thing is that you should really go for quality over quantity. I'd love to know if any of you are thinking of doing the five piece French wardrobe challenge. Obviously it'd be great to have some moral support as it can be a little bit tough, especially the first time around. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you're able to take something away from it. Give it a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video. See you later. Bye.